Hello and welcome back to the Remembering Tuscola webcast. I'm uh, David Porter. I'm here with uh, two of my oldest friends. Uh, we've been friends for what, uh, three weeks oh. now? Well, I think six. He got the oldest, right? Yeah. <laughs> my oldest friend. Yeah, I'm not saying they've been my friends the longest. I'm just saying they're the, the oldest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> if we're his friends, I hate to see his enemies. Oh, my so, God. You know, Mike Carroll is, um, I keep a picture of you, Mike, in my pocket all the time. I bet Mike, you do. Mike's yeah. a retired judge, and, you know, I've heard it's good to have a judge in your pocket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. An active judge. Yeah. yeah. A retired judge is worthless. Yeah. Mike, you know, we we have this, you know, symbiotic relationship. Mike is a lawyer and I need lawyers. And uh <laughs> Bill's a Bill's an educator and I need education. Yeah. Uh so these guys have uh have what I lack. There you go. Hey Becky. What do you need? Did you leave the milk out? No, it's old. It's old. Bill's worried about our milk being out. <laughs> We sent out the milk mm -hmm. to throw away. And Bill just noticed it, David. In case Bill's distracted today, <laughs> just yeah. pay no attention. <laughs> All right. Anything before we get going on pictures? No. Next week we're going to do a reveal uh, on who goes into the Tuscola High School Hall of Fame. Well, I'm School. glad. I'm glad that you specified what you're going to reveal next week. Yeah. So that people don't have to worry about. Uh, well, we want them to tune in for the, the rating on this show. Well, this should up the rating. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll remind everybody at home to <laughs> get your uh, get your uh, reservations in. Well, anyway, David, uh, I don't have any money on my money clip, by the way. You don't have any money on your money clip? Bill's got a hundred dollar bill wrapped around a wad of ones. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to figure out who you were, who, who each one of us were, uh, was represented in your article. Daddy Warbucks. Daddy Warbucks. Well, I, I know which one I was, the one with no money. Mm -hmm. You had a buck 98. Buck 98. And, uh, you know, I've seen, a lot of people, uh, keep their money all nice and orderly and by denomination, all facing the same direction and. It's very important to them. Okay. Are yours yeah. all facing yeah. the same direction? Yours, yours are pretty neat. Oh, that's the wrong one. Well, how much money you have? Whoa, oh, I got. I'm a hundred here. <laughs> my See, my wallet's in the truck. So it's like this. It's like the ones are all facing that way, and then yeah. the <laughs> playing cards. So the fives in the back, and the ones yep. are all. You got what, nine or ten dollars there? Oh no, I've got twelve. Twelve dollars. <laughs> I'm over the I'm over the ten hump. This is our afternoon to expend it. Yeah, I do. I'm one of those guys, David, that uh a little obsessive compulsive. Hmm. Oh Man. look, my, my money's not even in my clip. Yeah. Yeah. I've got well, here's what you need. A, I've got two dollars. You need this is the loose money you're, you're grabbing. So if you get yeah. robbed, this is your clip with your money. And you'll see. So you you want to buy a book. You want to buy a book or something. So, so you, you got your, your walking around money and then you got your uh, walking money. money. You got your walking money and your walking money. <laughs> <laughs> well, anymore, you know, 20 bucks will barely get you through Mickey D's for a meal. You know, it's, I thought they were coming back with a $5 meal. I hope so. Hey, Dave, the breakfast place open in Tuscola, is it just breakfast or is that going to be a full service supper too? Well, I don't know. Uh, I, I intend to find out, but it's called the breakfast place. So I assume it's that breakfast. breakfast, but that could be breakfast all day. I don't know. Yeah, fine with me. That would be good. We'll find out. I got a, I got a new reporter hired, so I'll put him on it. Oh, good. So. Is that a reporter or editor? Well, he's an editor. We call him an editor. It's kind of a hybrid editor reporter. That's good. He's got to work. In other words, we're too small just to have a. Well, I mean, I'm a I'm an editor, but I still do reporting. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's got to work. 
Everybody's got to work. Dominic watches our podcast. So Dominic, what, what you're saying is editors don't work. We had a <laughs> German hospital was losing money like crazy. And we had a consulting firm come in and audit it. And it says, well, right off the bat, your director of maintenance sits downstairs at a desk with a suit on. <laughs> and you've got one janitor upstairs. <laughs> he said, no, your director of maintenance needs to be up next to him with a broom. So, yeah, you got to watch that, you know, getting elevated. Anyway, it's a nice day out. You got to, we, we got to get through some pictures here, right, David? Yeah, but I got to, I'm headed to Bloomington for a convention. I'm, I'm well, ready. You're going to get some awards, aren't you, David? Don't brag a little bit. Well, I don't know what yet. If it's not first place, I don't care. Well, okay. You can give Bill and I your second place trophies. We Yeah, we've got some of those. We have nothing on the wall. Yeah, no, nothing. It's all in a closet. Well, our first picture this week. Hang on just a second. That's darn it. What else can we do? There's one of those typewriters he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's still, my. Uh, he still types on it. It still works. That's my L.C. Smith Super Speed. That was the typewriter I used when I first started working in the Test Tool Review in 1984. That's 40 years ago. This, uh, oh, goodness. This picture is not Tuscola. I thought you guys might like to see it. What a wonderful oh, picture. Yeah. I think it looks so familiar. It's from Arthur or Bourbon. I think Bourbon. Well, let me let's look at this for a second. Do we know someone in this picture? I think. Well, I don't know. Are we doing points this week? Because if we are, Bill already got a point for knowing that this is Bourbon. Well, see that see that recessed uh, door in that house. If you drive through Bourbon, uh -huh. it's still there on the east side in the middle of town. There's a brick house, one and a half story, and that was the old school house my mom went to. I bet one of these kids is in Atwell. Is Johnny Atwell in this picture? No, I was looking for my mom and her brothers and sisters. I'm looking for Helen Sanderson. Although this suit is not so much of the That's 30s. Yeah. It's this probably late 30s, early 40s. Is this W.A. on the right? Uh, could be, but I don't know. W.A. Huh? Kind of looks like him, doesn't it? A little bit. Well, it does say W.A. both arc on the uh, on the envelope. I'll bet that is. Well, well, how many points do I get? Well, you got you got two, but uh, who who want to know about the Atwells? Was uh, Johnny Johnny Atwell and uh, Tom Tommy Atwell. Says, Tommy, Tom Atwell. Tommy Moody says John Ever Atwell and Tommy Jean Atwell are in this picture. Well, how many points do I get all together? I said John first. Uh, no, I said John, didn't I? Well, David's the, the referee. Well, well, I have to go back and look at the instant replay, but we're not going to do it. It's like the Trump judge. Yeah, he'll probably get them all to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shirley Quinn says, second from right and second row looks like it could be Tom. And just a guess, but John, second from right back row. How neat. And, like the uh, teacher was. That is WA. I'll bet it is. We got a, another yeah. picture of WA coming up. So I think you probably you look, look, this is 1944. His face looks like Justin. I was going to say, if that's Tommy Atwell, you better get it up in the 40s because he was. Boy, he had an arm. He was playing. Uh, he was Tuscola graduate about what, 53, 54? Somewhere in there. Good left-handed pitcher, Tuscola Merchants. Yeah, it was a. This is another one of those, those big negatives. So it's really a, really a high quality, you know, five by seven negative. Wonderful picture. Um, all right, now these I don't have a lot of the names, but there are several of these pictures. And this says, Queen Candidates and Queen, Tuscola, Illinois, September 
I think that's supposed to be a high school senior. It looks like a majorette. No, I don't know, but uh, Margaret Utter, <laughs> Margaret Utterback, maybe. Not to think back to who's in uh, 1949. I'm not getting comments on them. So uh, uh, Bill McCarty. I know the guys. Bill McCarty, Myers, uh, Wayne Meyer. That's why I mentioned uh, Utterback. And then uh, Corky Waters. Whoa. I thought this was kind of fun. You can, you can see a lot of faces mm -hmm. in the background. That's definitely from the 40s. Look at the camera there. Yeah, and the neat old camera. That looks like uh, Williams, his brother. Sp spread that up again. Uh, Larry Williams, his brother. What was his name? I don't know. Okay. That looks like, uh, is that Travis? Phyllis Travis? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's the Mumfords. <laughs> that's a singing group. Yeah. I'm I will second, wait. I'm second from right there. Yeah, you. There's Gibson, like Fortney. I will wait. Soggy bottom boys, maybe. Yeah. I, I don't know, but I'm not sure that beard is real. It is. He just, he had a bad barber. And uh, looks like these are taped on as well. So <laughs> kind of a, and there's the old Chamber of Commerce chair. So I don't know if this. This would be before the community building, wouldn't it? Yes. So let's just kind of go through these quickly. All or if you recognize any of the girls. When was uh, Joe's mom queen? Oh, gosh. 30s, wasn't it? Ooh. Late 30s? Uh, she was mid-30s. Mid-30s. Mid-30s, yeah. Like 1934, 35, somewhere in there. I like how this kid's got a sailor cap on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you, zoom in on people and... It's a long time ago. That was a talent portion. She played taps. Even the people in the background are pretty clear. Yeah, fantastic. With this old negative. Wow. That's, that's called a national bank. So that's when it would have been where that's where Joe's. So this is outside. This is right down on uh, Stage. the corner of uh, okay. Sale and Maine. No, that's, that's the uh, east side of the old Tuscola National east, Bank. So yeah. this is heading north on heading north. Main Street. Yeah. Yeah, so they've got either a truck or trailer up or build a stage. Yeah, big deal. They broke out the new light bulbs for them. Yeah, they got the lights hanging overhead. and Wow. So I didn't get these posted till late, so maybe someone will know. Who the this must be the queen. Yeah. And look there's at that crowd. Gus's. There's looking back at Gus's. Wow. Yeah. Look at the crowd. Look at Gus's. Look, 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 look at that cigars. Yeah. Sodas. Oh, sodas. Candy. Candy. Cornbread and beans. Cornbread and beans this way. Go back to the crowd here. Let's you know, see. it's not good to Let's see being we, see being we, a crowd and eat a lot of beans. It's, there's Quentin Weber. Isn't it? Or who is that right there? Looks like Bucko to me. <laughs> Look, well, he wasn't here in forty. In the hat. <laughs> I don't know who that was. It does, doesn't it? A it does bit. look a little bit like him. Did you sneak in to see what he's getting into? He Might came, have. He came in 54, 55, I think. So you can see back in the right hand corner of the Strand Theater. Oops. If I can. Well. Boy, uh, someone's going to know some of these folks now. 
Oh, Friday night in Tuscola. You couldn't beat it. Saturday night in Tuscola. That was fun. Yeah. Um, I saw yeah, somebody I saw somebody in the crowd smoking a cigar. Did you see good. did you see a cigar sign somewhere? No, it says sodas. Sodas, yeah. I think there used to be a cigar sign there. He did. Gus smoked cigars sitting there on that corner. There's somebody smoking a cigar. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. found one on the found one on the ground. Yeah, in the middle of this huge crowd. Yeah. That's where you usually find them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you what couldn't see more people in that picture. No. What a good time that was. Wow. That Great was, picture. You dude. could tell there was nothing else to do in town. And they're all, they're dressed up, wearing suits and ties. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are the days of men wore a hat. Yeah. Mayor Jones. I don't know. That's Mayor Jones shaking hands with whoever, welcome, welcoming her to Tuscola. Was he mayor in 49? He might have just been standing down by the depot. Yeah. This was Hello. in that same group of pictures for the queen. Yeah. Hello, my dear. Why you get a trip to Champagne? I wonder if she, uh, if he's walking her off the train or onto the train. Well, she's got a suitcase. Maybe, I don't know. How long was he married? Maybe a chaperone. Red Jones? More than one term. Oh, yeah. He always had a cigar also. He was always yeah. smoking. Or whatever that car was. 1949. Trains yeah. haven't changed a lot since then. No, the train stopped back then. Yeah. yeah. Train was still stopping in the There's early w 70s. W.A. That's W.A. There's W.A. Great picture. 1955. Wow. So it doesn't Lot look much different. Of that man. Everyone respected different. Him. I didn't know him until the 70s and he, he looked the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My bitty basketball coach. With Al Boris. This is, I'll show you the expanded view. Oh, a railroad bridge. This says it's the CNEI viaduct. No, we don't have a viaduct in Tuscola. There are two right outside of town. Yeah, that's what they called. Oh, you mean out, you mean out of town? Yeah, the town doesn't have one. Well, that's, so you think it's the one in Cargill? Or is there one right on the edge of decal? I'd well, say it's one at decal. Well, it says yeah. C and EI, so. Well, C and EI went uh, east, east and west. west. I see North the viaducts were for. I thought the viaducts were for IC trains. Hmm. Would that be east? I'm not sure, but this is 1936. Wow. Wow. And. And the envelope is addressed to R. Stanley, room 14, Douglas Hotel. Wow. Look at this guy showing off. Yeah, standing on the beam. And it looks like maybe a... Is that but, a he's holding, but, he's, but he's holding on to the cable, you notice. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I would be, too. Uh, is that a steam-driven oh, yeah. train? Oh, yeah, steam steam-driven. 1936. That's where our global warming came from, right there, 36. Mm -hmm. so you think about oh, this, is this really is a cool picture. Oh, yeah. It really is. Is this Pettit also? It's, yeah, it's in with those Pettit photos. Wow. So I'm not sure where the viaduct duct is exactly, but... Uh, but it says CNEI viaduct. It hmm. says CNEI. I don't know the names of the railroads that much. 
Well, CNI was east-west and Illinois Central is north-south. There's those white dots you talked about on his right shoulder. Yeah, just from the, some of the negatives are pretty thin. They pick up a little. So the name on this is. Is that Swihart? What? Is that is Swihart? No. Uh, his initials are CM. 1945. It is Claude Morris. The only Morris I remember was Jeff Morris. Well, I mean, I remember the Morrises from our class. David played Little League Baseball with us. Yeah, but this would... Yeah, David did. But his dad, Jeff, ran the garbage route. Oh, that's right. This is in the park, no doubt. Now, Bill, you I know you know the one on the left. It's Lucille. That's Lucille. Yeah. I can tell side, if I eliminate the hair and just look at the eyes and the nose profile, yeah. 57, 58. You can, you, can, you can tell that it's urban park. Mm -hmm. The old bandstand in the back. Right, with the side door restrooms. And we used to climb yeah. up the side door and then get up in the yeah. band area. Yeah. What is that, a 58, uh, 58 Chieftain, Pontiac Chieftain? It's a Pontiac, looks like. That's about a 58. See the wide yeah. white wall tar? Little fin. Yeah. 56 to 59. Well, the envelope says 1955. 55. 55 Chieftain. Blue Seal was... Uh, the plant nurse for a while. This was the, it says uh, Tuscola Day School. Day School. And it says for the News Gazette, it also says they get the negative. Well, apparently they didn't because I've got it. Yeah. Maybe there's more than one negative. Mm. Initials? Initials are. I don't have a first name, just a last name. R is the initial for the last name. 1945, Mr. and Mrs. Randolph. Randolph? That's not, is that Judy's parents? Could be. That'd be about right age. That's what I would say. 1945. She probably was class 55 in high school, so this would be about right. Uh, she's a little later than that. She would have been. Ron was yeah, 50, 58, 57, 57. Yeah, he Ron, was 57. Ron was 55, wasn't he? <clears throat> no, 56. 57, I think. Played for Bucko. Yeah. I, I suppose it's who that is. Yeah, it could be. We're thinking it's uh, someone, but this is a great bank robbery, John Dillinger. That's in Camargo. This again is not Tuscola, it's Camargo. Yeah. H.L. L. Gates. Oh, you know what? That's a seed company over there. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yeah. And there's Back a, out a little bit. There's a farmer loading. Loading. Yeah, loading a feed bag. I'll be darned. Yeah, back down that street's where Ingrams lived, I think. Huh. The negatives were not in an envelope. That's a neat picture. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is. It really is. I mean, look at the... That's a base Masonic temple upstairs, but look at the windows and the brickwork and a little bit of details. Look at the 
love and attention they put into buildings back then. Yeah. Yeah, you got the Masonic emblem up there, don't you? Yeah, they probably had upstairs. I assume this building's not standing anymore. No. No, but even the, then, you can see a lot of missing bricks. Yeah, but look at those corbels. I mean, look at all that for, uh, concrete work off the top and side. Yeah. It costs money. They don't make them like that anymore. They don't make them like that anymore. They cost too much. And look at the old cars. What are those, 39, 40? That one's about 30. a 35 with that uh, tire on the back like that. That was the late 30s. 40. This is before 1940, I think. Or right at 40. What year is it, Dave, to say? I didn't have, these were not in the envelopes. I don't know. Okay. H.L. Gates Seed Company. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's Nick's or Guns, Drugs, or Gus's. Yep. Well, let's look at that. You named them all. Could that be Dunn's? Well, when I look at a picture like that, it reminds me more of Nick's. Because remember, he used to have a lot of stuff like this up here at the top. Yeah, could be Nick's. I think that uh, I go to, I'll come back to this picture. I think it's Mills Drugs. Yeah, see, we had them everywhere. There we had, you go. We had, we had Mills, we had Dunn's Drugs, we had all kinds of. Uh, and there's see that Hancock's Haberdashy, Haberdashy. Yeah. Last week we had Bill Hancock's uh, father on there, and that was his. He ran a haberdashery in Tuscola. So this uh, is this the bank building? Yes. Yep. Yes. Mills Pharmacy is the township office. All right. So that's where the township is now. Haberdashery is part of the the vault. And you upstairs, probably... you have, upstairs, you ought to have some dentists or lawyers. Can All right. I can't read it, but. Something, uh, yeah, can't really read it. Tax service. Hmm. Hmm. Um, but these these two pictures were in the same envelope, and all it said on the envelope is "not used." Huh. Never so before seen. Made a lot of made a lot of milkshakes there. Never before yeah. seen. Right, and these pictures have probably never been seen. See this thing right here? Mm -hmm. That was the malt. When you want to chop the malt, mm -hmm. they just get a little. That's the malter. That was a neat picture. That is. They were, yeah. Think of all the Who, stores that had those. Who's blowing the bubbles? Is that Patty Hill? I don't know what year it is. I don't know I anything don't. about it, really. We had, you're right. If you had Dunn's drug, you had Mills, Nick's, Gus's. Uh, Gus's. Yeah, at least four countertop places. This is, I'm guessing these are probably ice cream down here. Wow. Yeah. Got the mixers for the shakes. Cash register just ran up a big sale of 25 cents. Yeah. <laughs> that guy probably had a double cheeseburger and a shake. Mm -hmm. I'll bet someone knows who that gal is. Yeah. <clears throat> you, you know what? Janice Moody asked if that was Patty Phillips. Yeah, it looked like Patty, a young Patty Phillips to me. Yeah, I just, even though clothes Patty, look Patty, like that. Patty Hill. Patty Hill, yeah. Here's the sister. Hmm. What is Lamb Lambie Pie? Oh boy. Man. Remember Lambie Pie? It was a chocolate. You could just bite his head off. Yeah. Those were chocolates, uh, hollow chocolates. I ate a lot of Lambie Pie. <laughs> Roscoe the Rabbit. Roscoe the Rabbit. Who, who now lives in Did your Did you ever yard? see that great joke of two chocolate rabbits? <laughs> <laughs> one of them's got its ear eaten off. Somebody took a big bite out of its ear, and the other one had a big bite out of its butt. And the one with the ear, the, the uh, one with the bite out of its butt says, my ass hurts. And the other one says, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> I eat a lot of chocolate rabbits. Well, these are neat. Oh, here's those cars. Oh boy! Uh, I'll show you this one first. I'll come back to that one. White metal cabinets, I bet. Well, I think they're wood. I'll go back to that. Yeah, it's, not, it's not a pine. 
Is it? Yeah, it's a hickory or knotty pine. Zero in on these two people there. Look Let's, at that floor. Yeah, you go you go crazy in there. Play checkers. Yeah, he looks familiar. It's probably someone we knew. Go back and show those pictures. Those are knotty pine. This is 1952. Max, I think it says Deaner, maybe. Deem. Deem. Well, D E E M. Yeah, it probably could be Deem. Could be uh, Russ's grandpa, maybe. Possibly. Go back and show the or kid. maybe maybe his dad. That's not Bill, is it? No. 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 Wait, thanks, Bill Deem, for those. Go to the Burmeister information. Go to the original. See and those, 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 knots, those are knotty pine. Yeah, see, there's interesting how they're, the way they finished them. Yeah. And all the handles are all horizontal, even on the upper cabinets. Yeah. That was a modern kitchen in 1952. Yeah, the floor would drive you crazy. Especially if you could only step on the black ones. <laughs> yeah. So it says uh, Max Dean Wyatt's Kitchen. Hmm. He probably put it in for her. Probably did. Carpenter. Yeah, that that family has a history of carpentry. But yeah, I thought I wasn't going to use this one, that, but then I thought that shows those cabinets better. Shows the yeah the knots that are still there and probably all handmade and oh yeah the old toaster there and that was the cat's pajamas. Bob oh, Hausman. Bob Hausman Sheriff. One of the many Hausman kids. Bob was sheriff. One term, two terms, start and then delivered milk for. Uh, he, he, he had the, the milk the, route. He owned the milk route. Seal test milk. That was after he was sheriff, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. No, no, he was he was sheriff after the milk route. When Vicky was in high high school, he ran the milk route. I like Bob. This says 1970. Yeah, that's probably about the time he was running for, you know, shortly thereafter he ran for sheriff. Coslet murder. Big deal. Wow. Initials? The initials are OAS. The odd twyfer, but that's the no. S is not a T. Well, it's close. Well, it's one away. Yeah, it's true. Mr. and Mrs. O. A. Smith. Could be OB's. Uh, Did he have a brother? They went right down the alphabet. There was O. C. O. D. O. E. <laughs> o. C. Boy. D. O. C. D. Smith. Well, is that the Hayes elevator? I believe it's Hayes. You both would be wrong. Hold on, it's Ficklin. Not Ficklin. Bourbon. 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 Huh? Bourbon. Bourbon. Bourbon elevator. That is the Bourbon elevator. Mm -hmm. wow. Rudy Huber says Hayes elevator. Marcy said, reminds me of the Bourbon elevator. The envelope says Bourbon elevator. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me look at the other... And Jim Fleming says, still standing. Yeah, we just went by that yesterday, Becky. The old bourbon elevator right next to the oh, tracks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a couple of views of it. I'm waiting on that gal to put out the produce down there in the south end of bourbon. That is 1949. Yeah, we're waiting for that too, Bill. Hmm. That's Dr. Baker, Dr. and Mrs. Baker. He was an optometrist here in town. 
went to the Presbyterian Church for years and years. A.B. Baker, 1961. There you go. I saw him outside the church when they walked in. I'll just say, did you ever see anybody inside? <laughs> Speaking of churches. Cartwright, that was that's still standing. How'd you know it was Cartwright? Well, yeah. I just, I don't know, I'm going to guess it's Methodist Church. <laughs> they made that an antique place, you know, and then it. She quick, collected. Calvin Quick lives out there, doesn't he? He's a caretaker, isn't he? I think so, or he used to be. Well, that thing is a private residence now. Yeah. Might be Calvin. It became an know. antique place for about 10 years. Yeah. I was out there talking to the gal one day and she just got her tax notice and we had just done a just done a major reclassification of commercial properties and they lumped them all in based on square foot stuff. <laughs> and her assessed value like tripled. She said, I'm closing her down next week. <laughs> <laughs> the tax man chased another business out of town. I had a church pew out of this church, and yeah. that that pew is now in the appellate courthouse in Mount Vernon. Wow. Well, is that is someone pointing a finger. Yeah. That church picture was 1955, by the way. I have no idea who this is. Well, I thought Mike did so well on the kid last week. Well, give me initials. I'll get him. Well, this, this would be a uh, probably the father's name, L.K. Hello. 1962. Oh, that's a Christine. Christine. Lance. No. No, that's uh Oh, gosh darn it. Well, how old is Lance? Lance Christine is in his 40s or 50, maybe. Maybe 50. He's before Caleb. Is there a, Susan was my age. Is there an older one? The name on the envelope says Mrs. Larry Christine. What's the year again? 61? 1962. Gosh. Well, Lance, uh, who, he played on the uh, the year we won the state title. He was a tackle, 62, 72, 82. No? No, you're thinking someone different. I'm thinking it's going to get older. He married, uh, Lance Christine married uh, Tricia uh, Travis. Tricia Travis, yeah, I'm sure. Lance. Golly, are they that old? It can't be. He would have graduated in about 86. 88. Maybe they held him back 11 years. Him? Yeah. Oh, boy. No. Here we go. That's, that's Long. Denny Long from Camargo. You can tell by the smile, can't you? Except that it's not. That's hmm. not Denny Long. Sure looks like it. That's his twin brother. All right, that's Russell Conar. Got initials? L.C. It's Conar. You got his uh, you, you got his cousin's kid picture last week. I thought you'd get this one, Mike. Connor. This is Le Leroy Connor. Uh, he was didn't go to school here. No, but that, but that is Russell. That is the Denny Long. <laughs> yeah, nineteen sixty two. It says six oh one Newkirk, Tuscola, Illinois. Uh, they were that's Connor. Ed Connor. Lived there years ago, on Newkirk, I believe. Did Did Chubb get that one? No, but Kevin did. Cousin. I'll be darn. Hmm. And that sure looks like Kenny. It sure do. It was a Connor. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Line IFS. Uh, I say McDaniels, maybe. Line IFS. Because the car 
That Cadillac sitting there, it's got a plate on it that's about 1960. You see this over here? Mm -hmm. Got that, a bullet. Got yeah, a bullet the tail bullet lights. tail lights. Could be Phil Lamb or Herschel Hooker. I've got more, more pictures, so you'll get it from some of the other pictures. I think it's a Chevrolet place. You haven't Hooker. got it yet. Hooker and Powell. Ferguson Motors. There's a 55. Century Motors. There's a 55. Could be Centuries. There's a 55 Ford. There's that Cadillac. There's that. Yeah. Century Motors. Yeah. Look at those cars sitting there. That's a Cadillac. Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile. Pontiac. Time here today. Look at the advertising. Trade, trade here today. Trade the here today. AC terms. Wow, how special. And the safety treated. Mm -hmm. Look at that big old sign. This is 1957. Did you want to see any of those cars again? No. No. Well, that, that car, that Ford looks like, like a 55. I like that Cadillac. Yeah. It's, that looks like a 57 with the fans. Dad bought a 57 Oldsmobile there because he'd been in a wreck on the overpass. Mm -hmm. Looks like a 57. Uh, There's one right there. Oh, look at that. That's an 88 or 98. That's a 50, 88. 57, 88. Yep. Beautiful. That's what Dad Alexander drove in high school, wasn't it? Go back to that car. Yeah, he had a big white one. It, well, what color that? If that's. Looks like Ed. I could see Ed sitting there. He wouldn't sit long. No, he's going about 150 miles an hour. <laughs> okay, see, let's see. Guys, is he one of the guys there? Maybe we can First, the auto supply. Go back. Bill has got the point. I figured I would. Well, there's Mr. Firsty. <laughs> Do I get one? I don't think and so. And there's two assistants. <laughs> first one and first second. <laughs> well, once, yeah. They sold refrigerators there. They and sold batteries. Stop, stop batteries. Stop batteries. Back in the days when you had to replace your battery all the time. A battery yeah. wouldn't last but a couple of years. Well, you had to pour battery. You had to pour water in the cells. Yeah, all you the did. Time. In the cells to keep them up. You check. Well, you were you were a mechanic for Dwinsey. Yes, I was master mechanic. The fridge might be there just so you can have a soda while you're shopping. Well, at at uh, at Duenzine's where I worked when I was going to college, Bill would stop by and we would buy what would we buy? Yoo-hoo. <laughs> Yoo-hoo Chocola. Yeah. Yoo-hoo Chocola. Oh God. That's why we both have a little weight problem now. <laughs> Yoo-hoo. There's a famous battery tester, charger. Yeah, I had another this other they also sold truck. radios. Yeah, I got radios. <laughs> this shows some different uh, merchandise. Yeah. Well, it was the very first what you call general merchandise Walmart kind of place. Mr. Firsty again. Remember the remember those belts they had up there? The yeah, fan belts. Every year you'd have to yeah. buy it. It, it would throw a fan belt. You have to go in there and put a new one on. Loosen oh. the generator. Those were good old days. Yeah, when you used to work on your car. Yeah, you could find the engine. Now you just drive off and trade it when it blows up. That's right. That's what you now, do. Is this, is this next door to the newspaper office? This first days was uh, between uh, Gus's and my uh, daughter-in-law's place of business. Oh, that's it? Okay. Campbell's went in there later. Mm -hmm. Dick Parker had a store in there later. Yeah. Boyd Henderson worked there. That's the old church. Yeah, that is now a trailer. That's on Houghton Street. Mm -hmm. Across the courthouse. Mm. So both of these pictures, uh, there's one of the church said Southside Christian Church. Right. So they have a, a parsonage. That's sad. I mean, to leave it. I don't know if they had a parsonage or not. 
I know that house was torn down. They got a, who lived there? Anderson's who lived there? The Anderson family. They I took, thought that house was still standing. Well, I think that's it's been renovated. There's one Jerry Reynolds had. Oh, you're looking now. Wait a minute. Which direction are you looking here? I'm looking back northwest. I'm over here in. Uh, oh God, I can't think of that big greenhouse. I always loved it. Jerry told me he's still working on houses. That house is now blue, isn't it? When you like. Mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Who was the name of that guy that lived there? Oh, it starts with an M. This will uh, give you guys something to look for when you go on your drive. We'll find it. Moorhead, that house across the street. Morrison? 1956, by the way. 56? Yeah. We were playing Little League Baseball. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Guy Barnes. Guy Barnes uh, worked for CIPS for years. Back in the forties, married to Bud Rice's sister. Yeah. This is 1955. This is another one of those iconic photos. Lived down there uh, across the street from the Crossman House. Son-in-law was Terry Ray. I had. Uh, his daughter in class, and I can't think of her first name. I had her in sixth grade, cute little blonde headed girl. Everybody like Guy Barnes. Nice guy. Yeah, the envelope says CIPS. So, yeah. There you go. Well, that's uh, the old Willard uh, batteries. Batteries. You know where I bet that's next to the uh, down from the Presbyterian Church going back west. You know that's that's next across from the back of uh, the McCumber building. Yeah, the building's gone now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This says E. E. Evans Building, nineteen forty four, and if you look in the reflection, I think you can see the Bill's Presbyterian church. church. It's Bill's Church. Yeah, it's just right, mm -hmm. right there. But that would mean it's across the street from your church. Well, let's hold on a second. The church was on the corner, so this could be North Central. Uh, or South Central. It could also be that side street uh, there, Wilson. You know, this the way you're talking with that, you're saying that's where the McCumber building right. is. You're looking north. Looking, we're looking north in this picture from the church, but yeah, that's 1944. Well, the McCumber building wasn't 1944, the 50s, wasn't it? That's built in the 50s, yeah. Hmm. Looks like a uh. Oh, let me think for a second. What I notice is he's got perfect teeth. He was a police chief up under it. Yeah, you know, I used to be a dustbin. Look at, look at those. Brinkley. Is that a Brinkley? Gary, Gary Brinkley. Brinkley. Look at those pearly whites. Oh, we see him. Is that Gary Brinkley? That is David Miller. Thanks. That's Thank Gary. You. 1952. Hmm. It's a doctor. Yeah. Medical Corps. World War II. Who would Doc? Uh... Don't know, Mike. Not Cletcher, is it? No. Nah, well, I don't think so. He was older. Who do, you, who do you have there? Dr. Myron Boylson. Whoa. We always saw him as a white-haired old gentleman. Little white-haired guy. With glasses. Isn't that something? Now, that's a great picture. That's Dr. Boylson? World War II. Wow. Hmm. 
Hmm. This guy replaced me as principal. I forget his name. He did. Stern past master. Stern McNutt. <laughs> Boy. Initials? E H. Hamilton? Hecock? Haynes? Earl Hecock? This is 19, looks like 38. Ed Hackleman. He ran a grocery store. Well, yeah, his, his daughter, Mary Frances, was in our class. And it says Ed Hackleman Grocer. It was right where uh, Joe's Pizza was. Mm hmm Remember Mary Frances, little black-haired, cute girl in grade school? No, I was studying. You were in the church, probably. Yeah. Cleaning the pews. For Mike, I got I got to give half a point to Bill for knowing he was a grocer, for saying it before you did. Well, I said where it was Joe's, and I named his daughter. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of Mary Frances Hackleman, the daughter. Why didn't she continue in school with us? Wound up in Miller Grove, I think, for some reason. All right, I'll give you half a point, Mike. No, I'm not going to beg for a half. You give me a full or forget it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's back in Joe's Pizza. That's Tuscal National Bank. And there's and that's the directors. And there's Gus Flesser's. Uh, Sitting right there in the middle. Look at that. Look at that stern. There's on the right yeah. is Grover Helm. Yeah, Grover Helm. And then somebody, that's uh, uh, George. Uh, George Flesser, that's Gus's son, who's vice president of the bank, back row, far left. Boy, look at Gus. These are the guys that turned me down repeatedly for a loan. Alan Mishner says uh, fourth is William Van Voris, and fifth is Henry Sen. Well, where's, what do you mean fourth? Where? Well, it's just what he says. He says, Alan Mister says, seated third from left, Gus Flesser. Fourth is William Van Voorhis. Fifth is Henry Sin. Henry Sin. That fireplace and mirror were there for a long time. And then uh, Betty Hill had a store and it was still there. And then I think Joe's, that's Joe's back room in there for a little party. Yep. On the Northeast side. And they took the, I think they took the fireplace out. I could be wrong. Uh, Henry Sin was my neighbor when I was born. Yeah, I used to pass out Buckeyes. Buckeyes for yep. good luck. You'd walk up and he said, here, you want a Buckeye? And I thought, no. You'd rub them for good luck. Buckeye tree is still on Main Street. Tell him about seeing his wife in her bathroom. Mm -hmm. That was neat. Look at oh, the clarity. That, that's that's Russell Russell Russell. Crossman. That is Russell back there. Back Russell. right, Russell Crossman. Who's the guy? Who's the gal? Uh, we should know her, shouldn't we? Should, yes, we should. Was that Marsh? Wallace? I don't know. I don't either. I'd like to know who the other young man is standing next to uh, George Flesser. Got that Gus. I guess. Mm. This is... Um... I'll do it up. No smile. Well, tell me you'd recognize this guy by his ears. Yeah, he's different. The guy on the left looks familiar. We've seen him before. We've yeah, that him. little fireplace in the back is. I've been. We've been in a room there to eat, haven't we? Yeah, uh, yeah. We got crammed in there one Taco Tuesday night. Yeah, couldn't even move. Grover and Mr. Flesser did not get along too well. Look at those white shoes. Yeah. So, Mike, I think you got about three points on this one. Well, did I? Wait a minute. I got Russell Crossman. I'm giving history of things. I, I, I didn't I, say you I, didn't I, get any I, points, I Bill. Huh? I didn't say you didn't get any points, Bill. Okay, thank you. Just reassuring Mike that uh, Mike's just trying to point out Grover's shoes you know, and everything this, else for any kind of point. This means so much to Bill. Go ahead. <laughs> That's the only thing he's got going in his life.
That was 1940, by the way. You got initials here? Uh, G, D. B, D, D. First name, help us out. Grover. Grover Dick. Grover Dick, yeah. 1940. Wow. I can still see him going into Mel's drive-in with that briefcase handcuffed <laughs> to his wrist. Secret Service. Yeah. <laughs> Grover Dick. Carried the money. Yeah. I'll be darn. 1940. Hang on a second. I lost my place. Yep, 1940, Grover Dick. The initials here are A P. A what? A P. You say T? I a as an apple, P as in Paul. A.T. Taylor Thomas Thompson. Dieters. P as in Paul. P oh. as in Paul. A.P. Peeler. 1951. Parker. Adrian Phillips. Didn't know him. Phillips. Well, uh, Chuck's uh, Holmes's daughter's married to Phillips. Mm -hmm. Is that related to Larry, you suppose? This looks like a the uh, Kleiss Kat, family. Kleiss family. Barry on the left. Mike. I mean, Mike. And uh, there should be um, the two sisters are. Oh, God. Oh. I just saw her the other day and spoke to her. Yeah, Kathleen mm -hmm. is the younger one down there. And above her is her sister who passed away. What was her name? She lived back. What was Kathleen's, Kleiss's sister's name that passed away? Judy. Judy. That's Judy at the top and Kathleen at the bottom. Here you go. You want to see a picture of Kathy? Well, according to Janice Moody, it's Mike, Norma, Mary Jo, Debbie, and Bud Kleiss. Yeah, Bud and Norma lived out in Parkview down for me when they didn't have children anymore. But the daughter in the back was still around. You know what? I got them mixed up. Yeah, yeah you got the Kleisses wrong. I got yeah, Mike, Mike. I got Mike yeah, and Barry. Mike. Mike and Barry mixed up. Yeah, yeah. Barry's sister Mike. was... Who you were talking about. I was talking about Barry's sisters. Yeah. So that's Mike. Mike was in our class. And you know what? Yes. Mike, that's about Mike's senior year. Mm -hmm. Looks like him. Mm -hmm. Who are the girls again? Uh, Mary Jo and Debbie. Debbie's at the top, I believe. Mm. A lot of classes. 1965. 66? Bye, 66. That's the year we graduated from high school. Just a second, huh? Just a second. No, you can lock it later. Wait. Oh. This is neat, and I'll bet we probably are supposed to know this little guy. Or no. yeah. It's a gal because she's got on that little pennant pendant. How cute. Mike's good with babies. He's, yeah, he's, he gets the little kids. Yeah, he gets the little ones. That's Teresa Sunderland. <laughs> Sunderland's the name of that house we were thinking That's of. That's right. You're Street. right. Sunderland House. Okay. Initials and year. And we'll have it. It's just the year of 1944. It's a parent's initial is E. C. Ed Connor again? 
It's another Connor. Emmett Connor is the name on the envelope. <laughs> Connors like pictures. Yeah, they well, like to have the and they like well, pictures first, of their kids. Be, well, that would be Clarence Connor then. Class of 64? 63. I thought Clarence was 64. Was he? Could that be? I don't know. Well, Bill pointed out uh, the baby's wearing a pendant. So Clarence. Probably a girl. Oh, no. You can tell from here. Well, could be. I don't know what's tied around their wrists. Little... Mike, there was Mike. Who was Mike Connor and Clarence Connor? Who was what Bernie? Was it? Got a little, got a little Bernie. ring on the finger too. This is, I think this is a little girl. We don't know who it is. Yeah. Oh, Warren Smith. That's easy. That's man. He didn't change much, not did a, he? Not a drop. Golly. Wonderful guy. Graduated in '41. Bill Huber, and my uncle Judd McGuire, best of friends. Nicest <laughs> guy in the world. Easy going. Yep, one of my old neighbors, 1945. Yeah. Boy, they look familiar. She does. Help. Well, the woman's initials are M.B., M, B as in boy? Yes. Marilyn. 1943, Mary Brinkley. Oh, that's one of the brothers. You think it's one of the twins or another one? That doesn't look like one of the twins. Does it? Well, how many Brinkleys do you know? Think about it. Well, it has Mike, to be one of them. Mike Brinkley was your class. Well, oh. he's one. That looks like Mike and Phyllis. It does. Is that Mike's parents? Could be Mike Brinkley's parents. So if that's Mary Brinkley, is that her married name or? Well, we're thinking Brinkley. We got the families. Yeah. Yeah. We're thinking of. Now we know him. Yeah, I'm focusing on the hair. Initials? A.K. K? K, yes. K, an educator. Can't tell you. Alex Poling. Who? What was the last name? Poling, K-O-L-L-I-N-G. Irish name. That's why I couldn't get it. Yeah. 1955, it says Elks. I said I knew him, but I've never heard of him. <laughs> you heard of him? <laughs> no. I, the only polling I can think what of. What do you do? Drive, drive through town? Oh, boy. We're going to get this one. You should get this one. Initials. V.F. Viola Flesser. No, it's not Vi. That's Sophie. You know what? It's not Helen. The envelope says Viola Flesser, but then there's a note above it with an arrow pointing to Viola that says not. Right. So it is not Viola, even though Viola was originally on the envelope. Oh, do I still get a point? Well, you know... <laughs> I mean, I guessed the envelope. I didn't even see it. <laughs> well, that's because I gave you the initial, the VF. You know what? This is, this is a great picture. And I, of course, I've never seen it, but I just wonder if those that remain have ever seen it. And tell us, tell us what happened to Sophie. Sophie died when she was about 14. Mm -hmm. And her mother died in childbirth. That was, that's Gus's youngest child. Mm -hmm. And that's a rare, but you can look at those eyes oh, yeah. and uh, the eyebrows, and you can see the 
the dark Greek in her. I forget exactly everything. I've heard it, but I've just simply forgotten the story. But that's so you can almost see she would have died about 1942 or something like that. You could almost see Ann Flesser in her, can't you? Oh yeah. Ann looks Ann looked more like Helen Mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I gotta give Mike a point for guessing the envelope. Well, that's hard. But I don't know. I think Bill's gonna Bill's gotta have like five points on this one. Whoa. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Judge Mershon. <laughs> you ought to have your robe stripped off right now and horse whipped. <laughs> this also has it says 10 years. So I'm guessing so 10 years so she died four years later. I'll Ten say years it. Ago. Oh. We're going to look that up on that find a grave thing on Sophie. We'll drive around the cemetery till we find her. I she think bar- she was she was born. Uh, she would have been born in the late twenties, I believe. This is forty four. You said, didn't you, David? The date on it is nineteen thirty seven. Born in 27 there. Huh? Would have died in 41 or 42, I think mm-hmm. 42. But that's definitely a blesser. December 16th, 1937. Seemed happy. She was being raised by her her, her sister, Viola. That's okay. that deal. That's why the Viola's name is uh-huh. Viola. Yeah. Okay, I got to tell you, Alan Mitchner got this one. Well, give us initials and we'll see if we can match the Mitch. He cheated. SLV. Vic Freud. Vest. Vest, yeah. Frank Vest. Nope. 19th, I can't tell if that's 56 or 66. Man Boris. SL Victor. We said Victor, didn't we? I thought we did. I said Vic Roy. Not Victor. You can't even Vic Roy. <laughs> Where did that come from? Well, we're gonna give Bill the point for get, being oh. close. You, know what? you ought to take away he was, he was like President Biden there, you know. Call it call me his really primary shalab gaboog. You're not close when you say shalab gaboog. That's a lawyer. That looks like uh, that has to be Nichols Jones McCown's law firm. That's Nichols. Could be Reeves. Could be both. Could be Nichols or George, Reeves. George Nick. George Nichols or or uh, Reeves. Okay, well, I'll take your word for it. This is 1942. I don't have a name, but there's a several pictures in this envelope. That looks like the old firm of Nichols, Jones, McCown, Lincoln, Cotton. That looks like looks like Bo Nichols' dad, George Nichols. The envelope says businessmen. Well, that's that's a safe bet. Yeah. So I've got several businessmen. Do I get something for the law books in the back? Yeah. Well, Bill, I'm going to get shot if I give you another point for that. <laughs> I've done pretty well. There's another lawyer, I think. You have done pretty well. This, this. Is that cotton? For the uh, young people, if there's any watching, this is a telephone. Yeah. And that's also in his in his in his uh, shirt pocket is a, a fountain pen. Fountain. Fountain pen, fountain, yeah. He used to use, I had to write with a quill. Uh, uh, and what's covering his tie is a vest. Yeah, I say that's uh, Cotton from the Nichols Jones Lincoln McCown. Cotton, the old state's attorney back in the 30s. Uh, that is uh, Petticoat Junction. That is Petticoat Junction. It's Tom Hedinger in 10 years. Hmm? Tom Hedinger in 10 years. Could be. That is. Could be a Hedinger. Looks like a Hedinger, doesn't it? 
Which one? But what is the material that he's... He's selling looks like uh, either spark plugs or uh, fuses or what are those tubes they used to put in TVs? Transistors? Mm -hmm. No, it was, uh, actually looked like a, a bulb. Vacuum tube. Bulbs. That's TV repairman, I'm guessing. Or those are spark plugs. 1942, so... Whoa. This guy never got far from the cash register. What was his business? <laughs> you always want to guard the money. Deco Remy. What's that? Zero in on that Delco. Is that a battery? Mm -hmm. What's a Delco Remy? I thought it was a battery. That's a small battery. Look at the wiring back there. $21.25. Look at, look at the wiring. That shut him down. And Yeah. There's a, I hope he doesn't grow very much because it's, his head's going to hit the ceiling there. Yeah, I don't know what this thing is coming down off the ceiling. Oh, that's... Hmm. Anybody guess that? Did Mitch guess that one? Oh. That's Bruce. Is that Bruce Williams? No, who was that grocer? Look. That's a grocer back in the 40s. Well, it's not that Hackleman, is it? No, no. I don't know. Remember, there was a hole that had a store. Well, there was a whip hole. What's it say on the... Uh... Can't read what it says on the apron. No, I can't. Businessman. Part of the same grocery store. Yeah. Didn't Wib have one? Wib hole? Holes grocery. Was it a requirement to carry two pins in your vest? Well, pocket? one broke. One broke. I always carry two pins. Mm hmm. Case one runs out of ink. It's a good idea. That's a large family photo. Looks like the Wellborn boys, but I mean, it looks like I'm trying to think who those boys are. But it's not the one. It looks like the house on Main Street you renovated in it the does. door. It looks like the Gates. Could that be the Gates house? That does look exactly like the Main Street. A tall guy in the back. You see Rowena there? Well, wouldn't recognize it now. Okay, help us out. Gates. Initials are B B. D. B. B is in boy. B is in boy. B is in boy. B is in bass. Boy. Is that the bass family? And and her, the the two in the seat in the middle. Mm -hmm. First initial is O. Jane Mason Jones got it correct. Wow. She's going to have to help us out. 1953. This is the Burley and Orpha Burgett family. Burgett or Burgett? Burgess. Wasn't Bur they? Burgett, B U R G E T T. For the Burgett family. That was Mary Carroll, was a Burgett. Or she was a crossman. Mm -hmm. But her sister married a Burgett. I think this was an anniversary. There are several pictures. I just put the one in because it had everybody. Oh, it had corsages. Yeah. They're celebrating, a, I think, a wedding anniversary. Well, is it Burgett? Is it TT? TT. Yeah, that's who owned the land uh, out behind. Uh, we built the mall. The farmland of the north <sighs> was in the Burgett Trust. Mary Carroll, Mary Crossman was involved in that. And then there were some out of town Burgetts. Hmm. That's Dave That's Porter. It. That's Dave Porter. Point for Mike for knowing my name. That's your old typewriter back there. There's two writing awards. Oh, hey, trying to even it up. 
Oh, I can't. No, I'm. <laughs> my contempt of court fines are up to about a million. I'm just. <laughs> only only one of those is a writing award. Actually, neither one of them is a writing award. One's got a, a gavel. What's that for? You're a yeah, he's going to be the judge. I was president of the Southern Illinois Editorial Association. And the other one is a General Excellence Award. So this guy has got writing awards, and he's got awards for just general excellence. Just, he's excellent just no because? One's ever, no one's ever said I was generally whoever, excellent. Whoever said that? Whoever said yeah. Just because. Hey, David, where do you buy these things at? You're a general, you're a general nuisance. David, where do you buy these things at? You can get them at the pawn shop. <laughs> I forgot David was an antiquer. That's, well, David, uh, congratulations uh, today. I don't know what you won, but I'm sure you won some stuff. I'm sure Rambling Man won something. I won something. I don't know what yet, but that that General Xmas Award is for overall newspaper. <laughs> and I'm very proud of the fact that I had I had three newspapers, you know, Lebanon, Tuscola, and Arcola, and all three of them won general excellence at, at one point when I owned them. So, you know what? And the, and the point is, the point is, I'm really, I'm, a, I'm really yeah. great. I'm a, well, that's okay. I, I just wanted to get to that. You know, you would think you would invite your oldest friends to this presentation. Yeah, but he probably would think that we might, I don't know, cause a scene of some sort. And that's his oldest friends. And that's his oldest friends. Well, his... the uh, uh, the deal is it's a it's a hundred bucks a ticket to to get in and and uh, is Jenny going? Uh, yeah, Jenny's going. Are you gonna put a suit and tie on? No, I don't think so. I might. I'll dress up a little bit, but. Uh, so oh. between her entry and my entry in the hotel, I've already got four hundred dollars in this trip. Amen. Well, David, uh, shouldn't you wear a suit and tie for general excellence purposes, if nothing else? I'm not getting. I didn't win in general excellence. Don't don't worry about the suit and tie, That's, David. Congratulations. Yeah, you deserve it. You deserve it. You work hard. You write great. And your podcast is a smash in about ninety households. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a smash. People watch it and they want to smash their computer. Well, Bill and I are going to go get a Coke and go drive through the cemetery and look for Sophie Flesser's grave. And look for that house next to the church. Yeah, we know which one it is. Is that the Hibbets? There. Did Dwayne Hibbets live there? He used yes, to manage, he did. Manage the elevator. Do right. I get any points for Dwayne Hibbets owned that house? <laughs> you smashed the elevator. I know it's over. I know the case is over, Judge, but can I... Can I still argue mitigation? <laughs> Can I stop you? <laughs> Jerry Reynolds bought the one next to it after uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, just add, Cottle passed away. Just add on to my fines. Mrs. Cottle was the home ec teacher. All right. Me. For five points, Mike, tell me something that you know for a fact. Oh, my gosh. Uh, David is going to get an award today. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> Five points for Mike. So that means, Bill, you still won. <laughs> David, you and Jenny have a nice time. All right. We'll see we'll you. See everyone next week. See you next week.